Hi, I'm Caroline Faulkner from KPMG Hands-On Systems and today I'm going to be taking you through some of the new features of Microsoft Dynamics Nav 2016. I'm going to show you the new exchange rate updates which allows you to automatically get currency exchange rates from the exchange rate service. We'll look at the new preview posting function which allows you to preview the entries that will be created before posting a journal or a document. I'll show you the new deferrals feature which allows you to defer revenues and expenses to relevant accounting periods. And finally, we'll look at the workflows functionality which they've brought out with NAV 2016, which allows you to implement steps related to approvals or notifications or automation to ensure that business processes follow the best practice or industry standard requirements. So let's get into it. What I'm going to do is show you the new automatic updates for exchange rates. So if we go to the search section and type in currencies, do you need to be able to spell which is very important. And what we can do is we can see that we have a new exchange rate date field and using the exchange rate um, services that we've set up, I've set up a, an exchange rate here to go to the Yahoo exchange rates. I can simply click update exchange rates, the service will update, it can take a little bit of time but it's fairly quick we can see and we can see that the, up, up, the exchange rates have been updated as of today's date and the new exchange rates are now relevant. So it's really quick and easy, it's something that we can set up to run on a daily basis, a weekly basis um, or whenever you like. Um, so it's a very easy function to maintain. Next we're going to look at the preview posting functionality which allows us to see the impact of a transaction on the general ledger prior to posting. This can be done from any journal or any a document that will post to a transaction to the GL. So what we can do is go and have a look at the cash receipt journals that I've got. I'll go to the cash receipt journals and open my bank batch and I can see I've got a payment here for customer 20000 paying $10,000. Now if I want to see the impact that this has on my general ledger prior to posting, simply go to the Actions tab, click on the Preview Posting button. And what it will do is um, go through and give me the GL entries that are going to be impacted. I can click down on the, n on the number of entries and it will show me those accounts that are going to be impacted by the posting of this transaction. So this will be a really hel a helpful function for those of you posting to the GL or wanting to check what, what transactions are going to happen as a result of your posting. Next I'm going to show you the deferrals functionality that comes with NAV 2016 which allows you to automatically defer revenues and expenses over a predefined schedule. This gives you the opportunity to recognise revenues and expenses in a financial period other than the period that the transaction is posted in. And this functionality is available on general journals and some sales and purchase documents. So for this example I'm going to create a purchase invoice for my heating and um, electricals. Um, and I will create a purchase invoice for vendor 50,000 for my GL 8120 which is my GL account for electricity and heating and I'll put in the, the total amount of the bill with the invoice number. Now what I can have a look at on the line is the deferral schedule that I've got set up for this GL account which is to divide, divide the amounts over a three month period. Now this will post into those three different months rather than posting everything into the single date that I've got here. So I simply click on the post button and NAV will now post against those three months with against my deferral accounts. I say yes. It'll go through and post the transactions. Now we'll be able to have a look at the history and see those three posted documents, those three posted transactions into my deferrals. If I open the posted invoice and I go to navigate, I'll see my GL account, my GL entries that I've got here. If I just take off the filter, because at the moment it's got a posting date of, to, of today's date, and I'll just show that I've got my deferral expense for 
August, for September and October. So it's really easy in this version to be able to defer your expenses or even your revenues into a schedule period. Now I'm going to take you through the new workflow functionality that comes with NAV 2016 and this enables you to model real life steps which are required in the business to ensure that best practice and industry requirements are followed. Um, I'll show you a very simple example today with relation to a customer credit limit, but there are a number of um, templates in NAV 2016, about 20, which come standard, um, and these can also be configured to, um, to cater for some really complex uh, steps which may occur in your business. So what I'll do is go to a customer. I have set up in the background a workflow here. Um, for approving a customer's a change to the customer's credit limit. Now, here I have a condition that says if the customer's credit limit is over five thousand dollars, I need to then send a notification and an approval to two users um, uh, to then approve that. So if I go to a customer and I'll go to Spots Myers Furnishings and open the customer card. In the credit limit field, it's currently zero, and if I increase it to something more than 5,000 and I send approval request, NAV will go into the background and have a look at that setup on that workflow and send a notification to the two users that are set up, my colleague Shello and I, um, to say that we need to improve the in I approve the increase in the credit limit um, in order for any further transactions to be done by Spotsmeyer's furnishings. And I'll show you that if we do uh, try and post an invoice, we will be stopped because the approval for this credit limit has not yet been um, given by the required users. So we receive a message to say that the approval request has been sent. So an email has been sent to the two users um, predefined. I say OK. If I open up this sales invoice that um, has previously been created for Spotsmeyer's Furnishings and I open it up and I try to post that sales invoice. I will receive um, the required checks um, for this invoice. Yes, I want to post it. And I receive a restriction message to say that um, because of this customer approval workflow, um, I was not able to post the sales invoice. So I say OK and OK. So I'm being restricted because this credit limit hasn't yet been approved. And I can see that if I go to my sent notification entries, I can see that most recently a, an approval entry has been to, sent to Shello on my request via email to go and check um, the customer and approve the increase of the, of the credit limit. Now, as I said before, these can be customised to be a lot more complex than that simple approval um, and these can be configured very easily um, without customisations.